there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Off the Board, combined with May I Scrap Lift You. Um, today I am working on a layout that I just absolutely love. So first I went to my Pinterest board and I chose this pin to apply the, this color scheme to this layout from Jackie Scraps. And I just really love this layout. Um, I love all of those layers so much. So I haven't done a layout with layers like that in quite some time. And it is actually one of my favorite things to do. I just haven't done it in ages because, um, well, actually, I don't even know why. But uh, So what I did was I went through my bin of branding strips, and I pulled out anything that was in the pinks to wine color, um, kind of burgundy, anything that kind of fit in that scheme. And I just pulled them all out and started playing around with the placement of them. Now in the um, inspiration piece, it looks like she has a piece of striped paper across the top. And um, I was going to do that, but I couldn't find anything striped that I really liked. And so I thought, you know what, this is another perfect opportunity to use up branding strips. And I've been using branding strips quite a bit through the, the month of May. And so I'm, that makes me super happy because I have quite a big um, actually they're in a vase and they're standing up in a vase and so I have quite a few of them in there and so it's kind of nice to get them out and get them onto a page. So I went ahead and put them uh, into stripes and then I trimmed down the edge. There were a couple of them that were a little shorter. I think two of them were actually like sticker borders and so um, they weren't quite 12 inches long. So I trimmed it down and then I backed the whole thing with black as you see there. And then that top edge of the paper had a little bit of a white reveal on it. So I am just um, going through with some, I think it's abandoned coral is the color that I am using there just to uh, remove that little white strip so that there's no white between the pink and the black at the very, very top. Now, you might wonder why I'm scrapbooking a picture of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, interesting story. This is actually a photograph of the very first peanut butter and jelly sandwich that my daughter has ever asked me to make for her. And she's almost 25, and it was just a couple months ago. My daughter doesn't like peanut butter, so um, I about, like... I don't know. I about lost it when she asked me for peanut butter and jelly. I was like, wait, what? Are you kidding me? You don't like peanut butter. And well, I guess because, um, you know, she has Noah now and he loves peanut butter, but there's a lot of times he doesn't fi finish his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And um, she has learned to eat them, <laughs> even though they're not her favorite thing. She still doesn't really ask for peanut butter, but we were in a situation where we were at somebody else's house and I was like, okay, yeah, I can make you something to eat. They've got food here. It's not a big deal. They're not going to care. And, um, she's like, just make me peanut butter and jelly. And I was like, oh, okay. That's the weirdest thing you've ever asked me for, um, food wise. Well, maybe not the weirdest thing, but very strange for her. So I needed to document that, you know, it's not often that your, your kid asks you to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the first time at the age of 25. So, um, I pulled out all of my scrap paper that had pinks in it and started just layering up. Um, actually, the piece that is right under the photograph um, is from Felicity Jane, that diagonal pink, and it was already, it already had that ripped edge on it, and so I liked that ripped edge. I cut, trimmed it down on the top so that the ripped edge stayed there. But for the most part, most of my layers are not going to have ripped edge edges. But I, I did really like that one. And then I, I went searching for a guest check, which I have, I knew I had in my stash. And uh, the reason I chose that is because um, I felt like, you know, hey, this is food and it's an order. So, I, you know, I it's kind of like mom's restaurant. So I went ahead and chose to use that guest check. I am inking up everything with black ink and um, just a touch of it. I'm not putting a really, you know, big amount of it on there. It's just on the edge to kind of show um, the different layers and make them stand out more. That piece I just cut was a piece of packaging from Freckled Fawn. It was also in my um, scrap bin. And I, 
I actually do have a really big fondness for monochromatic layouts and I do them quite often. You can you can look through my channel and see that I do them um, periodically and I think they're a ton of fun and the best way to do that is go through your scraps and start pulling out all of the all of one color like pinks and reds or um, oranges all different shades of orange or all different shades of blue blue to aqua whatever pull them up out and just start layering the lights against the darks so that you have um, good contrast and you would be surprised at how beautiful those layouts come out now I did obviously stretch my guest check you can see there that I'm cutting it apart so that it stretches the length of this section um, so you can see the bottom of it sticking out and I really like that it has the red numbers on it which you know goes with this whole uh, color scheme and the aqua in the guest check is so light that it doesn't really detract from the color scheme and all of this all of these colors are in the mood board or at least they feel like they're in the mood board there's lots of pinks and reds in that mood board and so I thought it was the perfect way to showcase peanut butter and jelly because you can actually see a little bit of the jelly peeking out which was strawberry and so it's pink um, I did use my border punch on that piece that I just tucked in there and that is a, the notebook border punch and that's where my journaling is going to go and then the tag at the top I made that as well from another piece of scrap and I just folded it in half and cut a diagonal off the two corners so that they would match and then I used my hole punch and punched it so it looks like a tag even though it was not a tag originally <clears throat> and oftentimes as I am building up these layers I will just start tucking pieces underneath they don't have to bridge all the way across um, you as you see me doing here I just cut it in half it looks like it's a full sheet under there but it's not as, and uh, it, it looks great there's no reason why you have to waste a large piece of paper to create this look um, your scrap bin will probably be super handy unless of course you don't have a scrap bin <laughs> so and I know that most scrapper most scrappers do there are some that don't but not not that many I, at least from what I know so um, I also had that red tag that has the silver um, edging around it and I thought that was really cute down at the bottom corner and so I am definitely going to use that and I am pulling in a little bit of mixed media I'm using this stamp the stamp is from art by Marlene and um, it is just a plus stamp plus sign stamp and I am just gonna tuck that in underneath some of the areas here to create a visual triangle of black so I'm not adding any additional colors I'm just adding black and then of course all of those pink and red tones and then I have another stamp from the same set and it's got all of these little dots on it and I'm just adding these for texture and I'm using my Catherine Pooler ink and that is in I believe peppermint scrub which is kind of a a dark red color and so I like how that's looking it's just giving some added texture to the whole layout and it doesn't have to be you know super neat it can be a little bit messy that's okay and especially when you have all of these kinds of layers and then the idea with the layers is you don't want all of the corners um, or edges to line up with one another you want them to be slightly offset so that um, it looks like they're kind of like a stack of papers that has not been completely like shoved together hopefully that makes sense um, and then I am just stamping this little stamp that says uh, something it says something at the top and that says noteworthy I can't read it on my screen right now and I don't remember off the top of my head because it's been a little while since I actually made this layout uh, between voicing it and at making it. it took me a little bit of time to get it together <clears throat> so I am going to add this black piece of um, tag at the top and I like how that looks I will bring in a little bit more black in a couple other areas but I am going through my bin of red ephemera just to see what I have and what I like and I did swap out that red ring that red tag for a vellum tag with a red ring on it and I like that better I like the color of it a little bit better um, it's more towards the wine side of red like more blue based than the tomato 
color of the other one, which is more uh, yellow based. So I'm going to just keep going through my bin of red ephemera. And if you don't normally follow me and don't know this, when I am kind of towards the end of using an ephemera pack or a sticker sheet from a collection, I will cut it apart and I will stick it into my color bins, sorted by color obviously. And so these are all of the things that have been shoved into my bin of red. <laughs> so there is quite a bit. Um, if you don't know about uh, Off the Board, it is our monthly series. It happens the, the last Wednesday of the month. We take our Pinterest pins and uh, look for inspiration in those to create our layouts from. Sometimes you, we might be using another layout and scrap lifting or a sketch. Sometimes we're using stuff that is completely different, um, maybe architecture or nature or a quote or... Um, a mood board in which is what I ended up using in this case and uh, so it's tons of fun Crystal Barrett started this um, I don't even know how long ago it, it's been quite some time at least it, over, maybe over two years I believe um, I'm not really sure when the anniversary is but um, it is an awesome series I really love it it really makes me think outside the box um, I do try to use pins that are not really scrapbooking related to really push myself and I think that's a lot of fun um, and again it gets the last Wednesday of the month so I will have a list of everyone playing along in my description box down below I will also have a list of everyone playing along with May I Scrap Lift You if you've been following this series for this month we are scrap lifting someone different each day and um, I really just love the the lift today. I love the layout that we started with. It was a lot of fun. And um, Jackie Scraps did a great job with it. I knew immediately when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm, d I'm using that one right there because I love all those layers. So I am just tucking things in, tickets and um, coupons, like a little keep this coupon thing, and then uh, adding a little date um, circular element at the bottom there and some little hearts and I really just love the way that this is coming together the layers are a lot of fun it is quite thick when by the time I'm done with it but that's okay I mean it's not so thick it's not as thick as something that has lots of foam on it because there is no foam tape on this really um, but it is a lot of fun just to to see that bulk of paper sitting there and it, it just gives you something to kinda like look at to kind of look look at all the different layers in there and the different patterns that are hiding and peeking out. Um, so I had this camera sticker. I am using that on this vellum tag and I'm going to use a glue dot in the middle behind the camera sticker and a little bit on the the little ring of metal to hold it on there and then I used some Baker's twine in the little hole there and um, normally with my Baker's Twine I just put a little bit of glue on the tip of my finger and I ru run it over the tips of the twine so it doesn't unravel but in this case I, I did still do that but then I ended up tucking in the little pieces of Baker's Twine so they're not like just hanging loose and then I had this other little border sticker I thought it would be a cute added element to the top of this tag just to dress it up a tiny bit so it actually looks like the t a tag and not like I just cut my paper to fit that way. And then I just have a couple of more stickers here that I'm tucking in. Um, they don't even have any writing on them. They're just like little labels sticking out just to give added color and added texture. And then I'm going to add this white piece of uh, twine and then a black and white one up here just to bring in that color again. And I do enjoy having my um, my baker's twine kind of tucked in and tucked under. And that's not always the case, but um, lately that's what I have been enjoying the most. And then I pull out my thickers, and my title is just PB&J. Um, there's not a whole, lot, a, a whole lot more to it. It is a PB&J sandwich, and I am going to tell the story in my journaling. I'm playing around a little bit with the positioning of where I want my my title at. Um, I don't end up moving it over to the 
to the side, the right hand side, I just kind of leave it down here. And I really like the way that this layout turns out uh, when it's all said and done. So I hope that you enjoy it. And if you are enjoying this series, go ahead and give a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and um, get notifications on when I put out new videos. I try to put out stuff um, on a regular basis. I've been playing along all month, so there's been a video every day this month. Um, next month I probably won't have one every single day, but at least a few times a week. And then um, hopefully uh, I will have more for you, uh, more daily videos in July is hopefully my plan. We will see if I can do it. Thank you so much, much for watching and choosing my channel to watch today. Don't forget to check out everyone else playing along. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.